Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your June 3rd through the 17th reading. I know it's a little late, but rather now than never, right? So, I want to thank those who have liked, shared, comment, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. We'll start with a five card uh, advice spread. Um, take advantage of the $20 three question reading just send me an email and I can uh, get that scheduled for you okay All right. thank you thank you thank you for telling us right where Capricorn is the first card is Capricorn and where you are the second card is are you on your correct path take those if they come back out okay the third card what's your main obstacle here okay two cards wanted to come out okay. the fourth card what's helping you the fifth card how can progress be made Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. Nice. Right, first card, right where you are. Death, transformation. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something's ending, new beginning here. Are you in your correct path? Knight, Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacle. It looks like you're trying to get there if you are not. Um, definitely could be a, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You could be holding on to your money or how you feel <clears throat> in regards to this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, your main obstacle very well may be you Capricorn. Um, okay. All right. So for some of you, you've been shelling out a lot of resources, money to a certain, a particular person. This could be this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, what's helping you? The Five of Wands. It might be people telling you. Or it might just be the fact that there's so much indecision within yourself. You know that something's not right here. Or it might be people telling you like, hey, you know. You might have other people in your ear saying, you know, this person is only with you what they can get from you how can progress be made ten of pinnacle think about your long-term stability and your happiness the ten of cups is here what is going to get you to legacy to long-term stability um to be financially set and stable. Do what will get you to the Ten of Pentacles. And it might just be that you have to end something. Or transform something. Maybe how you make your money. Or how much money you give away. Alright. What is the death card? Who's the death card? What is the death card? Can you tell us about the death card? The Emperor. Um, Aries. This is letting something in and getting back in control. You could be a husband, father figure. Yeah. Three of, three of swords. You had to let something in. You have to let the divorce, the separation in happen maybe it might be due to infidelity you need to practice caution in relationship maybe with a cancer pisces scorpio
What is the five of wands? Five of wands. So five of wands. Five of wands. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you've look. You're looking at what you or who you've invested in, Capricorn, or what you've invested in, and you're waiting for a return. It hasn't returned yet, and maybe that's why you're so. And there's so much indecision within yourself. The Wheel of Fortune is here, saying so it's gonna it's gonna turn in your favor. You you'll get to this. I think some of you want to have a, a family, a happy home. What is the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords? Could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why is the Queen of Pentacles the obstacle? Why is the Queen of Pentacles the main obstacle? Nine of Cups, Page of Sword. I'm here. You need to. You want wish fulfillment. You want to get to the Ten of Cups, but you need to do research. You also need to. Yeah, you need to do research, and you need to cut sever ties with people who don't want the same thing as you. Then the Empress, the Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles. Some of you have another, some of you in long-standing relationships, it's ending. You have someone else you want to be with. You've turned your back or a fire sign has turned their back on you. They want to be with someone else, Capricorn. And then we have the King of Wands here. They they possibly moved away. Um, let's get some romance. I mean, excuse me, some career and finance messages. Hopefully that'll be a little easy, a little better. Thank you for the career and finance messages for Capricorn. Career and finance messages for Capricorn. Okay, ten of wands, four of spades, seven of clubs, nine of spades, four of clubs, four of hearts. Bottom of the deck, the seven of pinnacle. This is surprise news, baby news, good news, just things manifesting, things that you put time and effort into. This is unexpected money, unexpected good luck. This is illness, separation. This is recovery. Some of you could be separating from a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your psychic abilities are heightened toward the opposite sex. Maybe in regards to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There will be prosperity and success in dealing with a situation in regards to maybe a fire sign. Because you know what's going on by way of your psychic abilities being heightened, your intuition. It, the nine of spades, uh, low energy, extreme pain, um, mental anguish, anxiety. And this may be what maybe a fire sign is causing. Four of clubs, an unexpected bad event comes in and kind of bottoms out the energy for you. So that... Um, you can possibly, you know, start to create what you want and have a change in journey, a change in home. Some of you could be moving. Uh, good news comes in after the storm. 
in regards to maybe uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Good, unexpected money here. Unexpected money, which is good. Um, health, wealth, and happiness. Jack of Diamonds, um, an offer or maybe an unreliable person. I think it's an offer because it takes you to the Ten of Hearts, which is the highest level of happiness. The Six of Diamond. Uh, it might even be a payout. The Four of Diamond, a large sum of money here. Yeah. And then here's you, the Queen of Diamond. It's like once you let go of a situation, then good energy can come in for you. You know that something isn't working for you. Some of you go through divorce, so you wait for a payout for divorce or settlements or legal legalities or whatever. Um, you're hesitating before making that decision, though. There's the legal issues and legal problems. You feel stuck and stagnant, maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There might even be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio offering love. There could be success here with this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It looks like there's another person. And then we have the, the cheating spouse or partner. Someone who breaks promises in regards to a long-standing relationship. Could even be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I mean, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who you need to sever ties with loss of friendship here. So you can have a new foundational start with maybe a younger air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius which who could be a new boyfriend or a new girlfriend and you can have marriage later in life but you need to make the decision to either walk away check out mentally have a physical move because new love either for self or with someone else is here new love and new money Okay, so let's get some career and advice messages. Sorry, guys. Completely turned out. Leave it. Oh, uh, yeah. Emotions at the bottom of the deck. Self care, new exercise program, adult children, sobriety, family changes, leaving volunteer, dietary change. Uh, we did have a four spades. Some of you need to change diets, put a little bit more self-care, a little bit more care into yourself, be cognitive of what you put into your body, what you're around. Um, some of you need to enact a new exercise program or an exercise program altogether. Adult children are on your mind for some reason. Of course, this is uh, summer. Some adult children or young adult children are coming back from school. A sobriety, yes. Um, this could be sobriety of the mind too. You know, what are you feeding your mind? What are you listening to? What are you um, pouring into your mental every day? Are you meditating? Are you? What are you doing? So that doesn't just have to be chemical imbalance or chemical um, a chemical induced uh, what intoxication that causes you to, to you know question you you know your sobriety it doesn't have to be chemical it could just be the people you're around the energy 
there might be some family changes here because somebody's leaving or someone has left uh, might be a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo or it might even be you Capricorn uh, yes yeah, someone's exiting or entering the home there could be home changes someone bought a home um, moving adopted a child adopted a pet kids coming back from school family changes uh, children leaving going off to school too you know very soon volunteer get some of that energy elsewhere once again dietary change something you're doing with the sobriety and the dietary change um, you're not really taking care of yourself maybe because your emotions are all out of whack in regards to this happening family changes if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Sorry for that long pause, guys. Um, you do so many of these a day. Anyway, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Thank you to those who have already done so. Take advantage of the $20 special. Three questions for $20. Three clear questions for $20. Um, send an email. All of my information is below. Follow me on Instago where you can ask a question or two there um remember i am praying for you pray for me as well uh take care guys and i'll see you in your mid-june readings